Hi everybody, my name is Alan Jones and welcome to the Surge Forward show. Uh, Surge Forward, the notion, the concept that one day everything around us is going to be augmented with digital content. Um, and with that, I looked at the questions and comments that you guys sent me um, this week. And the one that kept on coming back over and over and over again is, how much is my augmented reality app going to cost? Now. For someone like me, this is, a, this is a very funny question because it's like saying how much is a house going to cost or how much is a car going to cost. It all depends on what exactly you're looking for. So let's just start with, I guess, the cheapest solution possible that's out there. Um, you can go with uh, brands like uh, Blipper or Erasma. Um, they already have kind of products that let you do some quick AR stuff, but I don't know, you're going you're gonna to kind of be paying to, in my opinion, to be promoting another brand instead of your own. So that's a little strange to me. Um, but if you have a little bit of money to invest and you want to do a really great augmented reality uh, campaign, then creating your, your own application or incorporating it into your own application to me is really the best thing that's out there. Now, how much does it cost? So, uh, the first thing is, is your augmented reality going to be experienced is going to be a simple video with a call to action? Or is it going to be something that's more complex like um, 3D, um, some sort of 3D interaction? And when I mean 3D, that means that you're going to need to have a modeler, you're going to need to have an animator, um, and you're going to need to have someone who can program in an engine like Unity. Um, and if that's the case, then the project is typically going to be a little bit big because that's a lot to manage. So you need to have a project manager as well. And you need to have a designer who's able to do UX and UI. So that's one, two, three, that's five people charging between 80 to $120 an hour. So as you can see, it's gonna get expensive. And if actually that, if you want to get it as well um, natively, meaning like if you wanna have it done um, in iOS, um, then of course, then you need another iOS developer and or, and if you want for Android, you need to have an Android developer as well. Um, so. When you do it natively, typically, um, the application runs much, much smoother, much better. You can do nicer, nicer uh, interactions with the application, um, but it's the complexity level increases as well. So I hope that answers your question. Now in terms of cost, um, so let me kind of recap this. Um, if you were doing an application with just um, Unity, no iOS development, and it was cross-platform, meaning like we did all your, we did all the uh, the work in Unity, and then after that, we um, we exported to uh, iOS and to Android. Then you're probably looking at a project that's going to cost at least twenty-five thousand. Um, if you want something really good, guys, it's 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 going to be around twenty-five, thirty thousand. Um, below that, you're Unless it's something that's really simple, like video with click call to actions and stuff like that, sure, that is going to work. But if you want something to really impress people with 3D, with animations, with all this stuff, yeah, you're looking at least 20 to 30,000 and, and, and up. I've, you know, we've charged up to north of, you know, six figures for, for, for applications that we've developed in, in, in the past. So, you know, don't go cheap if you want something really good. So I hope that helps. I'm also going to be showing you guys uh, throughout the video um, some visual representation of exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you have any more questions or comments, please feel free, send me an email or reach out to me. I'm always there to help you. Um, my goal in all this is to see the augmented reality and virtual reality game, you know, rise up as, we, as it rises up, all of us rise up as well. So that's it. Again, my name is Alan Jones and welcome to the Search Forward show. Thank you. Have yourself a very, very nice day.